Hey, Willowbrook, good morning. My name is Jared. I'm one of the pastors here at the Madison campus. Do you remember the TV show Law and Order? Ah, oh, man, it was one of the most watched TV shows in the last 10 years. It was a show where people would be caught committing a crime. They would be brought to justice. They would go on trial. And many times you would see the punishment that they endured as well. But where we find ourselves today in our daily Devo reading kind of reads like law and order. Actually, the first five books of the Bible are often called the books of law, where God gave his holy law to his people. But here we have a chapter about law in a sense more like the TV show Law and Order. We're talking about what happens in the Old Testament right now when someone does something wrong how's that to be handled in the most severe cases like murder like trespassing like an accusation bearing false witness deuteronomy chapter 19 deals with that god is telling his people to set up some cities of refuge for the purpose of handling legal matters like this Listen to this one matter that, similar to what we call manslaughter today, a little bit different, but talking about an accidental death. Verse 4 says this, This is the rule concerning the man who kills another and flees there to save his life. One who kills his neighbor unintentionally, without malice or forethought. For instance, a man may go into the forest with his neighbor to cut wood, and as he swings his axe to fell a tree, the head may fly off and hit his neighbor and kill him. That man may flee to one of these cities to save his life. Otherwise, the avenger of his blood might pursue him in a rage and overtake him if the distance is too great and kill him even though he is not deserving of death since he did not do it to his neighbor with malice or forethought. Uh, what is God doing here? He's setting up some places that people could go that were part of an accidental death, so their life would be spared should the family member or friend of that victim come after them. But the chapter goes on to say that if a, if a true murder, if a premeditated murder has taken place, and that murderer tries to escape to one of those cities of refuge, they can be brought back from that city of refuge and put on trial and actually their life actually be taken for the murder they have committed. So the first issue that we see here brought up in this law and order chapter in the Bible is murder. The second matter that we see in a very short segment in verse 14 is how to deal with somebody uh, interfering with their neighbor's property or their boundary. Verse 14 says, Don't move your neighbor's boundary stone set up by your predecessors in the inheritance you receive in the, in the Lord your God, giving you this land to possess. So we see murder, we see land, and now we see a matter of witnesses. The chapter concludes by saying that if a witness is brought to bear for some, an accusation of someone being doing wrong, that one witness is not enough, but two or three witnesses is enough. But those witnesses have to be brought before the priest, and if they are found to have brought false witness, if they, through malice or ill intent, have falsely accused their brother, they can actually face the punishment, the very punishment that that person that they accused would have faced if they were convicted. What are we to gather from an odd chapter like this in the Bible? Here's what I think we can take away. God is a God of justice and a God of mercy. He has mercy for those who are falsely accused. He has mercy for, for those who did not intend to harm somebody but they were a part of that but god also is a god of justice if someone has done something wrong they will face the consequences for that action uh, much like a seesaw with little kids playing on it we often drift to one side one extreme or the other but not god god is a god of a perfect balance between justice and mercy you can be thankful that your perfect God is the way he is today. He will be faithful both in love, both in justice, and in mercy. Have a great day.